Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technique. Today, we're going to be looking at how to configure network bonding and network teaming in Linux. So these two things are different things entirely. Network bonding is actually different from network teaming, but they are very similar. So if you want to know the differences between both, you can um, come to this website. I'm going to be dropping the link to this website in the description section below where you can always learn what network teaming and network bonding are. You can also learn the um, network teaming and network bonding modes or runners and how they work. For example, the active backup mode, the round robin mode, the LACP mode, and all of that. So the main concern um, of this video is to show you the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network bonding and network teaming in Linux. And before I do that, I would also employ you that you should um, go through this article and you should also have the basic um, knowledge about networking in Linux. And that is if you don't already have that. So um, let's go to the main reason why I'm creating this video, which is um, the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network teaming. Let's start with network teaming first. And I'm going to be using the NMCLI utility. So you can either use, of course, the NMCLI utility, the NMTUI utility, or the CLI or the GUI utility to configure um, networking in Linux. So for the network teaming, I'm going to be using the NMCLI utility. And for the network bonding, I'm going to be using the NMTUI utility. So just because I am using a Red Hat 8 system, I don't necessarily have to install the team, this service. But if I'm using a system that requires me to, to do that, I can easily use the command yum install teamd and the teamd service is going to be installed. So right now on this my system, I have quite a few number of NICs. I have the ENS33, I have the ENS38, and I also have the ENS39. So what we're going to be doing is to team these interfaces together, which are the ENS33, and the ENS38. So these interfaces are going to be teamed to form a master interface called Team 1. So the Team 1 interface is going to be master, while these interfaces are going to be slaves to the master interface called Team 1. And of course, we are using the NMCLI utility to do this. So let me just clear the screen. So to do that, um, first of all, let us create the master interface so I can say NMCLI connection hard. So the type of connection that I'm going to be adding is the team connection. And I'm going to also give a connection name, which is called team one. And I'm also going to give um, the device name, which is called team one as well. So I can give any name which I, which I wish to give but i'm going to be given both the connection name team one and the, and the device name team one and of course i also need to um, specify a runner or a mode so in nick teaming uh, it is called a runner while in nick bonding it is called modes so in this case i'm going to be specifying the um active the active backup runner so active backup runner meaning that um, one nick is going to be active while another nick is going to be um the backup for the active one so in case the active nick goes down the one for the backup becomes the active nick all right so uh, i'm going to specify this using the json format and that's why you see me writing all this um json syntax so and i'm going to give this uh, a name i'm going to give this one a name and i'm going to say active backup all right, so you can see now that the connection, the team one connection is successfully created. And now we also need to add the ENS33 interfaces and the ENS38 interfaces as slaves to the master interface, which we just created which is the team one interface. And that's why when you look at the connection, let's look at the connections. You can see that the team one interface has been created and you can see that it is not green. So it is not fully active yet. And that's why it's not green. So let me clear the screen and let's add the 
two interfaces as slaves to the master interface. And to do that, we can easily do NMCLI connection hard. The type of connection this time around is going to be the team slave connection type. And the connection name is going to be ENS33. And the device name, the device name for ENS33 is also ENS33. All right. And um, this is going to be the master and the master is called team one. So you can see that this connection has been added successfully. And we're also going to do that for ENS38 as well. So you can see that this connection too has been successfully added. And now we need to um, create configuration. We need to um, configure IP settings on the Team 1 interface. And the same way, if I do the NMCLI connection show, or we can even see that we have the ENS33 interface and ENS38 interfaces, but then we don't have IP address on the Team 1. Oh, okay. You can see that for ENS33, there is no IP, of course. ENS38, no IP. And for team one, we have an IP address. So team one, of course, is using um, a DHCP IP address. But if I want to make it static, um, I need to modify that. And to do that, I'm going to be using NMCLI connection modify. So this is going to be team one. I'm modifying team one IP v4 dot addresses. I can give it a static address. So this is going to be 192.168.72. So presently we have 131. So let me just say 132. And I'm going to give it a prefix, which is a subnet. And that has been added. If I also have um, a gateway, um, I can also add the gateway as well. So this is going to be NMCLI connection modify team one ipv4 dot gateway so my gateway is dot two and the gateway has also been added and if you also have a dns that's how you're going to add your dns as well and i want to make this um manual which is i don't want to make it dhcp and that's why i'm going to say method dot ipv4 rather ipv4 method this is going to be manual all right so i can restart the network manager so if you're using a red hat 7 system you can also restart the network service so this is red hat 8 so this is going to be system ctl restart network manager so now let's see our connections. Yeah, they're active. Let's look at the NICs that we have here. So this is still 131. What we need to do is to restart the um, interface. So I can just see NMCLI connection up, connection down, team one. I can use the upper sound, upper sound, NMCLI connection up. Team one. This is going to be team one. So let's confirm that again. So you can see that the IP is now correct, which we have 192, 168, 72, and 132. And if you also go to the um, configuration file, you should see the network scripts being created with the NFCLI utility. So this is how you're going to create um, a team interface using the NMCLI utility. Like I said, I'll be dropping the link to this website in the description section below, uh, where you can also look at how to do this using the GUI method and also using the CLI method, which is the network scripts method. In this case, you would um, do this manually. And um, you can also check the types of runners that we have, the round robin, the TLB, 
the LACP, you know, the different types of runner and how they function. All right. So um, thank you for watching. And in the next video, I'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step guide of how to do or how to configure Nick Bounding. So bye for now.